Hello, my name is Kate and this is a Poundland haul. So I've got loads of things to show you, some um, items that I haven't seen before and some everyday items that I normally buy in my Poundland haul. So loads of different things. So I hope you've had a good week and you're okay. I've also got Rufus in the background, as you can probably hear, um, he's having a, a snorry snooze. So I hope you don't mind him sleeping in the background and if you can hear his little snuffles. I think some people like them. They like his snuffles. I did open the door. I was like, do you want to go out? And he didn't want to. So he just wanted to be in the video and sleep on the bed. And before I get into the haul, I've got to do my mug of the day. And it's this lovely white one um, with really pretty detail all over it. So it's kind of plain, but quite a classic, nice mug. Well, it's more of a cup, really, isn't it? Like a cappuccino cup. Um, yeah, that was from a charity shop and it was a pound. And it's going to be featured in our videos on Sunday, which are... Um, the white company dupes so if you like the style of the white company but you don't always like the price tag um watch the videos on sunday it's a collaboration with mr carrington so they'll be here sunday morning at 8 a.m but anyway this is my mug of the day i've got a coffee but i'm not gonna drink it because it's really cold because i've been faffing about arranging my poundland stuff so i'm going to start off with the food because I suppose that's the most boring thing, but I think people like looking and seeing what's in Poundland food-wise. I've got a couple of new things and one thing that I was quite excited about food-wise. Why do I keep saying food-wise? I don't know. Anyway, I'll start off with this. It is some sugar-free biscuits and I bought these for my dad because he is diabetic and he's visiting today and he always wants something sweet after a meal. And sometimes if there's nothing, he'll like try and grab some of Toby's snacks and they'll, you know, they've got more sugar in them. So I thought it'd be good to have these biscuits in and then he can have one or two after his meals and that'll satisfy his sweet tooth and I'll give him a you know one of a, a green banana as well um I also bought some vitamins I bought these last time actually and then we've we've eaten them all so some adults chewable facets vitamins multivitamins raspberry and pomegranate and they're a pound a pack so a pound for seven so i saw these and i haven't actually seen them before well, i've seen mcvitie's digestives before but i haven't seen the um mcvitie's to go and they are six twin packs so sometimes if i open like a packet of biscuits i want to eat a lot of them but these are wrapped in packets of two i think which is really handy you know like for pack lunches or when you you know, to stop you eating too much, I guess, if you're sort of trying to be a bit healthy. These look lovely. So a little thing that opens up there and in here you just got a packet of two biscuits. So this would actually stop me trying to get more, I think, because it feels like a waste if you keep opening the packets to get more. And in here there is, so each biscuit contains 83 calories, so 160 calories for two biscuits in a little packet. And I think they are great. So they'll be good for pat lunches and for me if I want a little snack. I don't think I've had like a cup of tea and a biscuit in ages. So I might, after this video, I might just have a quick cup of tea and have a couple of those, just one packet. I also bought these. I haven't got these in a while, actually, that I saw them. I was like, oh yeah, we used to buy them. And Toby really likes these. Just handy little snacks. Snack latte, milk cream filling, and you get 10 in there for a pound, which is a really good value. And again, great for a little pack lunch or a snack. I bought some Kellogg's Rice Krispies. I was going to throw them over my head then, but then Rufus is there. I don't want to get him. So you get six of those. I really like these as well. Um, and then I bought some baked beans snap pots, which are so handy when you don't want to open a tin. Um, and then you just chuck these in the microwave and it's really convenient. So they're kind of like emergency if I need one. I haven't got much time and I don't want to wash up. So yeah, a pound for the two pots of beans. And in here you get... There is two 200 gram snap pots. And now I do like beans. I might have beans on toast and then tea and two biscuits for my lunch. I also bought a couple of cards. These were two for a pound. And I know you can get them cheaper, like in Card Factory, you can get 10 for a pound. But I just got these just in case because I think I'm low on cards for Toby's friend. So I just put them in the my card drawer so I can just grab them when I need to. And I bought a handy little oven tray this is non-stick oven tray 32 centimeters and it's quite shallow as well so this is just really handy um to use obviously in the oven so i bought one of those i've got quite a lot of the deeper dish oven trays deeper dish and i've got a pizza tray but i just wanted a little one just a little one um, i also bought some tea towels these are quite plain but they i think they look great in a kitchen so i've got some bright tea towels and I don't think they really look that 
good in my kitchen. So I think I just need some plainer ones. And these are sort of dark blue and white basic tea towels, but they're really good quality. So when I bought Poundland tea towels before, they've been quite thin, but these are really thick. So if you're after some thick tea towels, these look good. You only get one, but then it's best quality. So a Terry tea towel, swanky dining stuff. That's what Poundland have called them. A pound for that one, and obviously the same for that. So two of those, two tea towels. And then I managed to pick up some very exciting kitchen roll and loo roll because the world's gone mad and they're buying all of the kitchen and loo roll. I really don't understand. When I heard that, actually someone commented on my Poundland haul from last week saying that they'd been to the shop. So if that was you, hello. I think you alerted me to the loo roll um, shortage. They said that they couldn't pick up any and everyone was like scampering around for loo roll. I do, I understand like the hand sanitizer. I can't get any of that. I have been looking by. I've got a few that I did buy um, previously from Poundland. So I'm still using those and I've got enough hand wash and I've now got my loo roll. So I'm okay. But yeah, I don't get why I don't get the loo roll shortage. But there is plenty in Norfolk at the moment anyway. There was loads in Poundland. There was the one pound ones. These are quite thin, but I just thought I'd get them anyway, just in case. Um, and they're six for a pound, but they did have the more expensive ones, the nicer ones that are two pounds. Um, I went for those. And yeah, I went to co-op as well. They had lots of loo roll and it wasn't a problem. I had a Tesco delivery and I got like one lot of loo roll on there. So I kind of got one from Poundland, one from co-op last the other day and then some more on my Tesco delivery. So I haven't had a problem, but hopefully you've been okay with loo roll and you've, you've got some. Um, right, I also got some kitchen roll. Apparently this was like, people were buying lots of this and I just picked up the one because I already have some other kitchen roll, but this is good value, isn't it? Three for a pound. So yeah, boring bits there. And then I bought some glass and mirror wipes because I need to clean my mirrors in the ensuite because I've got toothpaste all over them. You know, and you're like, all of a sudden you look at something you're like, Oh, it's like full of toothpaste splashes. Yes, Rufus, that's what I thought. So I've got that to clean my, I'm going to clean my mirror. So I'm going to have my beans on toast. I've got my biscuits to go, a cup of tea, and I'm going to clean my mirrors. And I bought this for my son, Toby. It's a paint your own bunny. I think Rufus' and snores are getting louder, aren't they? Oh, Rufus. And he just loves things like this, not Rufus, my son. So he'll just, you know, paint this little bunny. He normally does these in about two minutes, but he does enjoy it. So I thought I'd get him one of those that maybe we can do like at the weekend. And I also got, oh, I'm onto the fun things. The fun things are coming up. A couple of boring items, just a phone charger. So they keep disappearing in our house. I don't know where they go. They go off with the socks and the hairbands, um, but they do keep disappearing. So I bought one more and this is Mobile Wizard one meter lightning cable. And it just says, compatible with the different phones on the back. Check these though, because I have bought the chargers in the past and they don't fit my phone, which is silly of me because I should have checked probably. So yeah, check on the back. So that was a pound as well. And then I have got some sharpeners. My eyebrow pencils and my lip pencils need sharpening. So I bought this and you get two because it's a twin pencil sharpener set. And all the next three things are kind of the fun things of the haul. Okay, so when I was younger, I used to buy this stuff, but it was really expensive, but it wasn't called fashion tape. It was called toupee tape. So I don't know if anyone else remembers using it. So I used to be in a band when I was younger in the holiday park and I'd wear like different outfits and I'd fidget with my clothes. So instead of like fidgeting, I would then tape things so they would stay down. And it was really handy if you had like a low cut top, you could just position your you know your top in place and then you wouldn't like you know you wouldn't have any accidents it would all be fine um it's kind of double-sided stuff and it was safe enough to use on your skin so i thought i would get it just in case i needed it and i wanted to tell everyone how um how good it was i haven't actually tested this one but the stuff i used to use was really good and it made me feel really comfortable or you know when a top keeps slipping down you can just put it somewhere and it will Kind of stay up have a practice at home though but it just made me feel a lot more secure in what i was wearing so i thought i'd get it and kind of share the uses of this so it just says fashion tape and there's someone with like a low cut top so i guess that's exactly what it's for so you get three meters which is really good and i'm sure you used to pay like five pounds for mine and it just says on the back 
fashion tape, remove the adhesive protector and place over the skin, making sure any creases are smoothed out. Do not use on damaged or irritated skin and do a patch test before use. So if there's no reaction, continue to use the product. So just check everything on the back before you use it, just in case. So I've got two more things to show you. This one um, is a, well, it says it's a vase on the bottom. And you've probably seen them, they have them all, all different colours. I think there's a yellow, there might be a blue, and there's this lovely dark grey. Um, I'm laughing at me for snoring. So I'm going to use this as a toothbrush holder in my downstairs bathroom because the other one was wrecked. Again, I looked the other day and I was like, oh, I'll clean it. Oh, and I've had it for about 10 years. I had obviously washed it in that time, but it just looked really a bit grotty, full of toothpaste and stuff. So that went in the bin because it was plastic and it was wrecked on the outside. So I'm going to replace it with that one and put that in our downstairs bathroom. And that was a pound. Right, the last item. So I saw this and thought that looks really good. And it was in the Mother's Day aisle and I hadn't seen it before. So I don't know if you have, but I've never seen this in Poundland. And I did ask the guy, because if you watch my Poundland haul from not Fridays, it was the Monday the Mondays one so two weeks ago I'll link it in the description like I said in case you want to watch it but I bought those vases you know like the iridescent vases and they were absolutely beautiful they're only two pounds each and I asked the manager if they had any more and he said no they just came in and they sold immediately but they were the most beautiful vases so I really hope you managed to get one if you wanted one they might get them in again you never know but they were such good quality and really good for two pounds so those two pound land hauls will be down there in the description in case you want to watch them anyway back to this so this is a four pack mini perfume or perfume mini set four times 300 milliliters and there's four different bottles and i saw this and thought are they for i think they're probably well you've got a rose and oud eau de toilette wood and sea salt amber and pomegranate so i'm going to smell these and let you know what they're like i kind of thought maybe the sea salt one it might be a more sort of masculine scent. I'm not sure. Well, they could probably all be for everyone, I reckon. But it looks, they look really posh. And I did check that they were £2 because they looked like they could have been a £5 product. But they weren't. They were £2. And that's what they look like out of the packaging. And I have bought these before. You know, they're in the, like, the long, thin sprays. And I did like the pair. I wasn't keen clean i wasn't keen on the oud but this has got rose and oud so i'm gonna smell them let's have a sniff so i'm gonna start off with this one i think the um bottles look quite posh are these a dupe of something are they a dupe of joe malone or something if you know let me know in the comments so rose and oud i'm gonna have a sniff i'm gonna spray it in here okay oh i just sprayed it all over my my thumb oh i don't know Actually, it's not bad. I don't know. It's it is quite nice. I can smell the rose. I quite like that. I think if that was on Lee, I think I'd like it. That is quite it smells really clean. Right, so that's that one. Okay. So that was the one I thought I might not like. I'm on to the wood and sea salt. <coughs> oh, I can smell like the alcohol. Okay. Let's have a you don't shake it. Why am I shaking it? Rufus. Okay, let's smell this one. I'll spray it into its little thing. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. So that smells a little bit. Oh, hang on. Let me go over here. I'm just going to stink at the end of this. Oh, that's too... Hang on, I'm going to let it go. That's the alcohol. <laughs> right on my nose. That smelled like um, hand sanitizer. Okay. Oh, Rufus. That's nice. It smells really fresh. I reckon these are unisex. I reckon these scents. <sighs> Quite like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. Sea salt. It does sell, sell, smell, it smells kind of sea salty. Right, on to the next one. We've got amber. Let me smell this. Okay, let's spray it in here. Alex, I'll, I'll let it zhuzh for a bit before I stick it under my nose. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Oh, do I? Or do I? I'm going to have to spray it on me a bit up here. Give it a zhuzh. 
actually smells really nice. So I've got this one here, the rose one, rosy oud. I think that might be my favourite so far. All right, I'm onto the pomegranate. Let's see what this is like. Oh, Rufus! And I've just sprayed it on this part of my arm, giving it to Zhuzh in the air. Perfume dance. And let's have a whiff. That's nice. That is really nice. Pomegranate is lovely. I don't know if it smells like pomegranate. I don't really know what pomegranate smells like. I really like that though. That is really nice little scent. And then amber is good. Rosewood, I can't really smell anymore. And then, <laughs> just I'm smelling myself in this video. And then sea salt, it really is quite sea salty. But I like it. I think I'd like that on Lee. So I really quite like these. There isn't a scent I don't like. I definitely, the amber, the pomegranate are my favourites. Then the wood one and then the rose one um but i think they are brilliant value and i think the bottles are actually quite stylish i like how they look and they look nice um on your side or on a dressing table on a little on a little ledge they'd look quite nice so yeah well done poundland i like those so that is the end of the haul i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and if you haven't subscribed then please do and let me know your favorite item from this haul so if you had a favorite i think mine's got to be the perfume and this because it is a really good product and it's helped me out when I was younger um so yes I love those and I also like the thing for my toothbrushes so let me know your favorite item and if you've used the perfumes and which one if you have if you bought them let me know your favorite one okay so thanks for watching and I will speak to you very soon I will have a video for Sunday that's the white company um dupe video it's a collaboration with mr carrington so he came up last week and we filmed quite a few videos together so that's here sunday 8 a.m and then i will have a vlog for wednesday and i'll probably put that on around two o'clock or maybe three o'clock in the afternoon because i think people quite like that time and then i'll have another haul for friday and i think that's might be one with mr carrington as well so um if it is it'll be a homeware haul if not it'll probably be a charity shop haul so they're the next few videos coming up and in the meantime come over to instagram my name is kate mckaby on instagram and my house account is kate's homely home so i like to show the progress of us updating um our georgian house so they'll be in the description and have a lovely weekend i'll speak to you soon bye